Hey, hey, hey. It's Q. Yeah, I'm back. And I've got a good friend with me. You, One or two of you might recognise him. It's Timmy. <laughs> How you doing, not, Tim? I'm doing fine. It's not Timmy. Q-E. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, in the video I released the other day, it, it's been... Freaking years, so you'll, I, I have to apologise for that commentary. But it was a debunk of one of Tim's videos. Um, as I said in the video, I showed it to Tim. Tim was going to debunk it himself, but he's a busy guy, so I decided what the hell when it was commented on by other people. So that's where we are with that video. Tim, introduce your channel, mate. Uh, my name is Tim. Everybody out there that knows me, I'm UFO Man Online. Uh, I have a UFO channel called UFO Man as well. I'm also on Facebook and Twitter if you want to check that out. Right. That was short and sweet. Yep. Um, in my video, I also said that I haven't been around for a while, or not very much, because of my disdain for the community. Um, the reason I said that is because of what's being put up on channels. Um, and it's been going on for years. Um, too long, to be honest. Um, the reason I'm saying this is I always have the opinion of if you put something up where the footage seems to be dodgy, say so on the video. Um, as simple as that, just say so. Say, you know, this, this video, this footage could be fake because it could be CGI, it could be Photoshop. It could be whatever, you know, but please say so on your video. How do you feel about that opinion, Tim? I think it's a good idea. In fact, we've started, I've started doing that on my channel because um, a lot of footage that I've come across in the past, I may have thought was real at first, and then I realized later, no, wait a minute, this is fake. So we'll put out a video saying, look, uh, this is why it's fake. Uh, this video is debunked. And we're willing to do that because I personally believe that the community has been eroded. Uh, its credibility has been eroded by CGI videos. And there, there are lots of them being put up by small and large channels just for the entertainment value. But a lot of people that are coming into the community for the first time that are being brought in because of the Pentagon stating that UFOs are real and then they come to the UFO community and start watching uh, UFO videos on YouTube, they see the CGI stuff, they have an inkling that is fake and they think that the community is a bunch of hacks, that we're just posting up garbage and that we all believe in fake footage, which is not the case. Yeah, you see, I agree because, you know, this community, it's already one where people imagine that people with who believe in UFOs are wearing fucking tin hats when they go out um, around the streets to the shops, you know, with little aerials and shit like that on, because we're all freaking fruitcakes. In actual fact, the majority of people now believe that UFOs do exist. And just to get this out of the way, because I do, I am cynical over videos um, and I I do go into it a lot. You know, I don't like the bullshit that gets put out there. Um, I'm very critical over things, but to make it perfectly clear for anybody watching, I do believe aliens exist in the universe 100%. And I believe that anybody that believes otherwise is extremely small-minded. They really are. I'm just stuck on, have they been here? Now, I know I've got friends that have seen things. I've seen things myself. But I want the proof. I want the proof. And all of this disclosure thing that was going on for the government i said over a year ago um exactly what they were gonna say oh blah blah bullshit fucking nine pages of absolutely nothing 
to read. But right. what more can you expect? You know, they're not going to release something that would destroy um, society. And that's basically what it would do. Religion, every religion would be out the window. So that was never going to happen. So when we get people coming to this community, now when they put in UFO on um, YouTube, they get sent to bullshit news channels, which are posting stuff from some of the disgusting channels. In fact, the biggest friggin' one out there, um, which are bullshit. And some right. people might say, and some people have said, piss off. Get to the friggin' truth. We don't need channels like that churning out their crap. And we don't need channels churning out CGI crap, which is what this is all about. Because if you stay tuned to the end of the stream, you'll see a premiere of my new video. I'm also going to put that out on its own so that you don't have to listen to man and Tim's bullshit about CGI. Right. But CGI is so annoying. Because uh, it, it it's believable, isn't it, if it's done well? Yeah, it's real believable. It's very hard to discern nowadays with uh, graphic artists becoming so skilled in creating fake videos as some of them are very difficult to, to tell right off the bat. I mean, you really have to look at it and know what you're looking for. And it takes time. And if you're a new person that's coming onto uh, the UFO scene and you look at the footage and you go, wow, that's cool. That must be real. No, not necessarily. You, you really got to research it. Um, one person I'm going to mention who actually does a lot of hardcore research, and I appreciate that from him, is UFO Proof. And... Um, you need to check out some of his stuff. Not not some of his most recent things, but some of his later, th earlier things. He he really reached out and researched uh, the the information, and I felt uh, I learned a lot from him. Um, in regards to uh, CGI, one thing I have to mention: um, a lot of the mediocre, say, middle of the road channels that were say around a hundred thousand subscribers. Uh, grew their channels by using CGI footage and buffaloing a lot of the new people that came on, especially younger folks that came on to the UFO uh, channels to watch uh, footage because they're like, wow, look at that alien walking across a field and did this really cool flying saucer taking off into the sky and flying over the trees. Well, that's created for entertainment, as we all know, except people who are new or maybe younger do not know this. And they get taken in by the charlatans of the UFO genre. And I'm not going to name names, but there are a couple large channels out there that I compete with on a daily basis. And there's no way I'm going to reach their subscriber level because I'm trying to remain credible and not CGI based, but the CGI is entertaining. And because it's entertaining, uh, the crowds are larger. And that's very disappointing for me. Yeah, see the community, although we all say we, we want to know the truth and the, the proof and all of that, the community, it's a very varied audience. You know, you have got the kids, um, they were coming on, they want to see a UFO flying across the sky, um, little green alien waving his arm, or grey alien, or blue chicken, whatever, um, that, well, you know, that's the crap they want to see. Now, yes, that's entertaining for them, right. but in reality, it's not what the likes of myself wants to see. You know, I want to see something. Yeah, it, I want to see good stuff and not entertaining stuff. I don't give a crap whether it's entertaining. I want to see good stuff. And with the way we are at the moment, with 
all the fake stuff being put out there as soon as somebody comes on and they see a fake video and they realize that it's fake even if it was a decent cgi they realize it's fake or they see a debunk they automatically think well every ufo piece of footage must, must be fake right exactly they think we're a bunch of hacks that's exactly yeah. the case and we're, we're not i mean most really good footage i've noticed lately are just distant there there are lights in the sky but you can't really tell what they are so you don't know what they are you you can claim in the extreme sense of the word that they're a ufo unidentified flying or floating or whatever object but you can't say they're alien because you can't see them so i i don't usually put up footage like that because it's not entertaining people aren't going to watch it they're not going to learn they want the extreme they want the close-up shots but this this is the quandary i find myself in people say to me oh when are they going to use a good camera to get something clear that is in focus up close that we can take a look at okay uh secondly when I get something that's clear and in focus and up close. People say, oh, that can't be real because it is too clear. It's too in focus and it is fake. So you can't go by that rule. The, the rule is, is you got to look for things that indicate that it is CGI. And usually you can tell after a while. I mean, if you've been in the business long enough, of researching ufos you and you've seen hundreds of videos like myself in q um there there's no way to miss a cgi video you you can tell right off it, it's a learning process it's a learning curve and um i know i was guilty of putting up a lot of cgi when i first started out because i didn't know the difference but I do now. And the last video that Q debunked, I didn't see the strings at first. And he pointed them out to me. And I verified to him, yes, he was correct. And I was going to debunk it. And like Q said, I was extremely busy because I was part of Contact in the Desert, the UFO conference that went on through uh, June 25th through the 28th. And I just had too much to do for the conference. So Q took care of it and I came on his live stream and backed him up and everything's good to go. But we need to band together as a UFO community to try to um, get larger channels that are doing this to our community, that are downgrading our credibility to stop doing it. 100% agree. They need to just pack it in. And if you happen to be watching a YouTube channel, and um, particularly if, as I said, I'm going to be showing at the end of this um, a new video, if your YouTube channel has any uh, put up any of the footage that's in this video, you need to call them out on it. You know, if, right. if they're uh, a decent UFO channel, then they'll take that shit down or they'll debunk it themselves i have no issue with somebody putting up a video that is a misidentification that happens right. so much um yes. if they leave it up fine leave it up but debunk it yourself as well because at least that way um, people know that you are prepared to actually debunk stuff as well um i mean I, I'm not even going to say his name because I'll just be insulting, but the big boy, um, <laughs> the amount of shite that he's put up. And just last month, he tried to make out because he got onto somebody that I've been following for ages. He'd got onto somebody who does scientific, scientific critical analysis and tried to make out, oh, yes, see, um, 
I look at the, the people who know what they're talking about. Yeah, whatever. Take your team and piss off. Friggin' annoying. Today it's like that, that all the 13-year-olds probably bleed and follow because, yes, he's entertaining. And yes, he has put out some good stuff. But when the guy won't even come on a live stream and have a, a respectable discussion with you, which I have always been more prepared to do with that particular person. Right. Um, you know, it just shows their character. At the end of the day, that guy's making wads of money. That's what um, it's all about. Yeah, i i tr I tried to get I tried to get that gentleman on my channel several times, and yes, that person has spoken to me a couple of times in emails, but he hasn't really committed to any live stream chat. Nope. Well, he did a video the other day complaining about um, people moaning at him about his merch. I have never complained about people having merch for their. Um, YouTube channels, no matter what they're talking about. Um, whether yeah, ne neither have I. Or gaming. It doesn't bother me. Um, but he was bitching about that. Well, what these people watching him need to remember is, you know, he's talking about being poor and skint. He's probably got more money than you and friggin' I. With over yeah, 10 million he... subs and he's not making any money off YouTube. Well, maybe he should change his fucking career and get a nine to five job then. Plus, he is also making money off of Patreon. He has a lot of subscribed members, so he's he's hauling in a lot of money. So yes, uh, not naming names, uh, he's doing well financially, and how he got there is creative, but fraudulent, and a lot of it makes it makes us look really bad and i know a lot of people that do not like him that are critical thinkers um so we're not going to say who he is because I, I have to say honestly i wish everybody the best in the ufo community it's just please please try to stay away from creating fake or false footage because it really gives us a much harder time at imparting real footage to new believers. Yeah. And I also tried to get um, a gentleman in on this call with Tim, but can the astronomer wasn't available for some reason. But anyway, <laughs> come see, come see. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, thank you very much for your time, Tim. I know you're a busy dude. I appreciate your thoughts. Um, you're welcome. To close it up, CGI is bullshit, and if you see it on people's channels, tell them. Call them out on it, yeah. Even if it's me, let me know. Give me a heads up, and I will uh, either... I will probably just leave that one up, and then I'll debunk it, because uh, I'll look into it farther, and... Um, take note of what you have uh, visually seen and we'll go from there and you'll have a debunked video up on the channel. Now, not every time when you think it's something's fake, it is fake. Sometimes it's real. And uh, I will let you know in the comments, but I do respond to everybody's comments in the chat beneath every video. Uh, I make that up uh, uh, a program of mine wh where I need to focus on what you're saying because the whole point of a video is not to put it out there and generate revenue. The whole point of my videos and everyone else's videos should be to inspire conversation, to get people to critical think. And that's what we're trying to do. So thank you. You're more than welcome, Tim. It was my pleasure having you on. Um, yeah, just to finish off the end of this before we end up getting to me latest fit. Um, yeah, we we just need to get rid of the bull out of the community. If you see somebody putting up bull, call it out. I watch hundreds and hundreds of videos. And it's only now and again I will comment critically on them. When I see something where I am 
100% sure I'm correct. I get things wrong. I'm not a professional. You know what I mean? I just do this as a freaking hobby and nothing more. Plus, I really want to know what the frick is going on. And yeah, if they, they've been no... here and how long they've been here. You know, that's what I want to know. But I don't yeah. call everybody out on every video because most videos, you can't do it. And with CGI videos, it is insanely hard. It really is. But for everybody, if you're watching a channel and you see something that you think is incorrect or bullshit, just say so. And if the person isn't willing to to listen, tell your friends. Tell me. Tell whoever. Get the news out. Yeah. Yeah. That's the Because that'll, that'll make an impact on their channel and then they'll realize it. Eventually, yeah. May take a while, but they will. Yeah. Maybe they should take it down. Right, yeah, exactly. there's a little pun there for what you're about to see shortly. Even Tim doesn't know what I'm talking about. Right, well, thanks for uh, tuning in, guys. Um, hopefully, we might have somebody else on in a minute. If not, we'll be going straight to the video. See you soon, Tim. See you, guys. See you, Q. Later, Tim. Hey, hey, you all right, Cud? Hi, Q, I'm fine, thanks, how are you? Oh, it's good to see your lovely smile and face, mate. <laughs> how are you yeah, doing? Yeah, I'm fine, fine, thanks, you know, like, we've been, been locked down a lot and being, like, led into the, the, the big wild again, just right about now, so things are looking up, yeah, like that. Yeah, unfortunately, um, everybody's been going through that shit. It's not nice, but I guess it, it just is what it is. Right, so cons. Um, by all means, introduce yourself. Oh, yeah, fine, gladly. Um, uh, my name's Cons. I'm like a um, Central European guy. I'm from, from Austria. I'm, I'm like an old buddy of, of Q. Um, I would like categorize myself as some kind of a wanna believe skeptic in the UFO circle. Yeah, I consider myself a skeptic as well, although I like to think that I don't let me skepticism cloud um, everything. I'm, I'm like being prone to uh, more to the I want to believe side, you know? <laughs> so maybe sometimes I'm, I'm being caught off guard for something and being gullible, but I'm, I'm trying to remain on the skeptic side. I'm, I'm the scientist guy, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I know exactly where you're coming from. Um, I say I'm a skeptic too, but, you know, it is what it is. At least um, when we look at some of the footage that's out there on the internet, we can look at it with a skeptical or critical eye without just be, oh my God, that's the most amazing footage in the world. You know, which unfortunately in this community and even some of the people, the well-known people, um, and I'm not just talking about YouTube channels, I'm talking about the people where you pay them a fortune of money to come on with you or to go to their events. Unfortunately, I think a lot of them are in it to make money. But the subject of this stream is CGI. More so, what are your opinions, Cons, on UFO video footage where people have used fake CGI? or stroke photoshop but really we're talking about cgi here which all links into the premiere video which is going to be at the end of the stream for everybody to see me later fit but what are your opinions on people that's always awkward isn't it 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's all bloody base. Shit like that happens. But what do you think about people putting up on their channels CGI fake stuff? Well, like really obviously, um, if somebody knowingly puts up some, some CGI fake stuff on their channel, they're not interested in like getting the truth out somewhere or, or like really accomplishing something more than like collecting clicks, maybe maybe garnering ad money and stuff. So uh, so that's the, the really obvious uh, takeaway from this. Yeah. So it's it's uh, nowadays being I, I guess quite easy to uh, to make videos like this uh, and to make them look convincing because CGI has gone a long way from from its early days. Um, but it's not in the interest of the of the community, obviously. Um, what is more is uh, what I find interesting is that uh, one result that we are seeing uh, due to this is that, for example, myself, whenever I'm looking at something, um, um, like the first question I'm asking myself is, is this fake? Is this CGI? Because it's so uh, commonplace that, that uh, fake videos are being put out. So I guess this is the way in which it hurts the community most because it's like um, the, the disingenuousness is uh, really obvious. Yeah. That's a great word, disingenuous. Great word to use because I agree 100%. The annoying thing for me is, okay, if one of these YouTube channels wants to show CGI stuff, by all means do so, but make it perfectly clear that it is bull, that it is crap. And don't turn around afterwards when somebody says, oh, that's CGI footage, that's being added to this piece of footage. After the fact, don't put it out as being a legitimate UFO footage call it out the way it is and here's a little hint for the upcoming video at the end i want people to burn it down but even cons doesn't know what i'm talking about there that will be for later what about um you know a lot of people they'll go onto youtube might be the first time that they've actually searched for UFOs and they're going to get now the way YouTube is they're going to get the news channels coming up with what more often than not is absolute crap and they're advertising possibly a, a YouTuber that's showing CGI crap how do you feel about those news channels? Well, that's that's a really like, that that's a problem that we have all over YouTube. That um, popular is being uh, popularized even more, and and it's not about re re reality or truth in, in any video, and that's no matter the topic. So that's it's the same for I don't know random like life hacks. It's not about them them hacks actually working. It's just like like creating clicks and and interaction and and that's everything that that there is nowadays. So in this way, the the problem that that I see is that genuine channels are really being drowned out a lot. They have no chance of actually being put forward by the algorithm. Um, and yeah, that's yeah. Maybe we can get into some kind of an economic critique with this, but you know where I'm going. To, so it's you're you're having a really hard time to um, like being being honest uh, and and wanting to like show the truth. And I believe this is the way that um, a topic like this needs to be uh, followed, is by uh, being skeptical, uh, showing like maybe debunking stuff, and on the other hand, showing something that is really um something that, that seems genuine to you uh but in no way <laughs> it is like put uh, put up some some fake cgi videos and, and just garner clicks and add money um so the algorithm is being played here a lot 
yeah, it's being pl being played by way too many people. And that, that's, like you've said, that's one of my issues. You know, we're in a community that, okay, they reckon now over 60% of people believe that UFOs um, are a thing. And when I say UFOs, I'm talking about um, UFOs that are possibly alien craft rather than just unidentified things because a lot of them are just misidentifications. Um, but we need to get rid of the crap because it's so damaging to the community. And that is a big issue, you know. Don't you think we need to get rid of the the foil tin hat wearers? Well, if you can, you should, of course. Yeah, um, I want to see it, it as a as a really big challenge to actually do so, because um, the the economy <laughs> just favors um, this behavior. So, so, and they are not like really interested in the topic. Um, so, yeah, it's a it's a, it's a tough battle. An uphill battle for 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 people like you to who want to really uh, find out the truth to something uh, that's really tough to do. Well, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say people like me. I'd say people like ourselves. Yeah. True. And then of course we've got the the young kids coming on and they're putting in and they're watching this crap and a lot of them. They're putting in UFOs and they want to see a UFO. So when they see a CGI UFO from one of the bull crap channels that are out there, they're automatically a huge fan. And then they're going to go on and they're going to troll the legitimate channels. That also annoys me. Yeah, that, that's that's totally fair. That, that can happen, I, I guess so. Oh, but you know, kids gonna be kids. <laughs> um, we, this is something that we really have to uh, stand against with like, calm adultness uh, and then try to convince them of, of the better ways, so to speak. But yeah, I, I see your point. <laughs> that, that can hurt a lot. Now, kids are gonna be kids and trolls gonna be trolling. <laughs> it's just yeah. the nature of their work. Right, well, thank you very much for coming on, Kant. It's been You're welcome. awesome speaking to you again, mate. Thanks a lot. Thanks for, thanks for having me. It was a lot of fun. It's been my pleasure and my honor, mate. Thanks. As always, I'll smell you later, Kant. Yeah, you too. Bye-bye. Laters. Hey, hey, we have Cyrus. Thank you very much for popping in, mate. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Good to hear from you. Hey, it's always my honor to speak to you, bro. <laughs> right. Would you like to uh, introduce yourself for uh, the people watching? Okay. Well, uh, I'm Cyrus, and I'm a space nerd, as you can tell from the flags behind me. And I, I live stream on Twitch. Um, mostly simulation games like Kerbal Space Program. So uh, I'm definitely uh, in the field. And as far as UFOs go, I'm a skeptic, but I'm a skeptic that that loves the lore and uh, I want to believe. <laughs> it's funny you should say that because you're not the first person to actually give the exact same comment like myself i want to believe but yeah <laughs> i'm a skeptic but we will get there one day i'm sure maybe it just has to be scientifically valid <laughs> as long as we still don't uh, keep watching nine pieces of paper long um, from what the the government are telling us but anyway yeah I, that's for a different video so let's get on with this one this one is purely to do with how you feel and i've brought everybody on individually so that 
everybody as a group, the conversation doesn't get diluted or convoluted and everybody say the same thing come on different people's different opinions as they feel no matter what it is so mm-hmm. let's start when you get people coming to youtube at the moment they click on ufos um, and they normally get up the news channels and a lot of them uh, they're getting their information from spurious sources let's say and a lot of it is CGI. How do you feel CGI videos in the UFO community affect the community? Well, I absolutely support um, CGI as a means of artistic expression. I have no problem there. If you're just an artist who's creating computer gra- using computer graphics to express your creativity you know more power to you uh but i do think that there's at least in the past i'm i'm less aware now but there's people making a modest income off of peddling fake ufo sighting videos that are all just cgi and eventually they get shot down but there sure is a lot of people that uh buy that buy into that stuff and we'll vigorously defend it <laughs> even though we've got people like um ufo of interest i think he's got twitter and youtube and uh there's another one there's another there's another guy on twitter who debunks a lot of the a lot of the uh cgi stuff so i mean yeah, ultimately, if you're trying to do it just to fool people, I think it's damaging, especially in the long run. Because, you know, I've seen so many of those things at this point that, to me, I can I can spot I can usually spot a CGI video like in the first second or two. I'm like, yeah, this is fake, because they <laughs> a lot of times they'll use the same they they have this they actually have like tropes that they. Uh, You'll recognize if you've seen a whole bunch of those CGI videos, like it, like a little point of light that all of a sudden there's a bright flash and then it zips off the screen. That's one. Oh my gosh, I've seen that one so many times. So yeah, uh, some of them are very creative. I'll give them that, <laughs> but most of them are fairly easy to spot. Some of them are good enough that. Some of those people could probably have a decent uh, career in Hollywood uh, creating special effects. And some, I think some of the ones that are out there are probably from people that do that. But, yeah, that's kind of my feelings on it. I mean, you know, I, I support the artistic expression, but uh, if you're trying to fool people, it's, it's damaging. So CGI, you're fine with, which... I understand and I I agree. I just uh, I have an issue where we get UFO channels putting up what is blatantly a piece of CGI and trying to pass it off as legitimate footage when they probably know themselves. Oh, they probably bullshit. make it. Yeah. But, you know, clicks make money. And a lot of that, if I'm remembering this right at least a couple years ago it was there were some british tabloids that were that would pick that stuff up and then they'd uh promote it and then it would get even more clicks and that's how people were making money off of it well we won't mention them british tabloids (laughs) i'm not naming any names i know one of the ones and they are wow they are just so dead particularly in my um, yeah yeah totally I, I know the story destroyed. behind that one too so if you've got a youtuber that is targeting cgi videos and putting them up as legitimate footage how mm-hmm. do you feel about that channel taking into account yes i know they're doing it because they want to make money but You also have the people like ourselves who want to see a legitimate footage, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. 
mm-hmm. or just misidentification. Um, how do you feel about the channels that put up the absolute CGI crap? Well, you know, I've seen some of them. They'll put that stuff up, and they're like, they'll get all the way. They'll they'll talk their way through uh, the footage, and then they get to the end, and they're like, oh, by the way, this whole thing is fake, and here's why it's fake. And then they break it down and show you. Now, that stuff I like. Um, I'm not going to say that I spend a whole lot of time on channels that promote that stuff and say it's real, because typically when they do stuff like that, I kind of don't bother coming back because you've already impugned your own integrity. And I'm sure that people that uh, run UFO channels see a lot more more of that footage than I do. So, I mean, they really should have an eye for it by now. I mean, I have an eye for it. And that's just from kind of being on the edges of the scene for a few decades. So if I have an eye for it, they'd better have an eye for it and be able to recognize what's CGI and what's not. Yeah, they should. Some of them um, let it pass, though. Um, yeah, like you were saying, CGI, it does have a place when it's being placed as a legitimate video in this community because it's so looked on detrimentally by so many people. I don't think it's it's right that we allow people to put up any kind of bullshit, and particularly or CGI along with other types of bullshit. Um, I think we need to get that out of the community just to make the newcomers not look at this stuff and be like, oh my God, that's amazing. That's absolutely fantastic. Um, and start following crap channels. Um, yeah. They'd be better following channels that actually do research. Now, if they show the video and at the end say this is fake, um, maybe let that pass. But the thing is, a lot of people don't watch the end of the video. So they mightn't see the fake thing. Um, in the vid that you're going to see at the end of the stream, um, I make it perfectly clear. Everything on screen is faked. And I think that's what they should do. And at the end of their video, show their CGI footage by all means, whether it's theirs or stuff that they found. But put up across the screen, this footage is faked. And at the end, explain why. Rather than, like some of the channels have done in the past, they've put it up as legitimate footage. And when they get called out on their crap, they then say, oh, yeah, this was faked. Yeah. Yeah, that's not the way to do it. Um, yeah, no, I hear you. Um, and I appreciate channels that, you know, the, the ones that are like, well, OK, we found this fake footage and uh, we're going to deconstruct it and go through how the, how this was made. Uh, th- that's the kind of stuff that will that'll bring me back. And then if you post up something that you say is legit, I'm going to take it a lot more seriously. Because if you have the integrity to say, this is fake, and we're going to show you how, how it was faked, and then you show me something else, like, okay, we don't know what this is. Now I'm going to take that seriously, because I know that you have, the person running that channel has the integrity to say, okay, this is, this one's baloney, but we'll show it to you. So you'll be able to tell, like, we can, what's real and what's not real and when someone's trying to pull your leg i completely agree um integrity is a big part of this community and it's it's hard to find people that you can believe in particularly when as you say channels are trying to make money and i understand that but you know my thought is if they're putting up fake crap it's just damaging for the community. It might be great for the their bank statement, but it's damaging to the community. Plus, new people into the community will see the fake crap, and when they realise whether it's because somebody else has debunked it or what have you, mm-hmm. um, they will then completely disbelieve every UFO 
piece of footage, whether whether it's a misidentification or whether it's genuine or whatever. You know, at that point, everything can be explained by small gas. <laughs> Uh, the good old J. Allen Hynek, uh, Swamp Gas. Yeah. Well, you know, Swamp Gas, Swamp Gas would be, actually be interesting because it's not CGI. Swamp Gas is real. Um, I'm sure. I would totally, I would totally, well, if someone actually has footage of Swamp Gas glowing in a swamp at night, I totally want to see that. That, I mean, okay, it's not a UFO, but it's cool. <laughs> I am sure you and I could get our heads together and make <laughs> a perfect CGI swamp gas video if we yeah. really wanted to. Although, I don't think you'd be prepared to do that with me. <laughs> I guess that depends by what you mean by swamp gas. <laughs> hey, we, we can make it any shape you want. We can make it do what the hell we want. We'll be controlling yeah. screen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, at some point, the CGI stuff gets boring anyway. You know, I, I, I'm more interested in seeing a legitimate investigation, no matter where that leads, because... Even if you get some footage and um, you investigate it and find out there's a, I'm going to call it a rational explanation, be that a misidentification of some kind of aircraft or some kind of natural phenomenon, you're going to learn something. And uh, I think the journey in finding that out is the value in uh, that kind of footage, but you can't really do that with CGI because it's just it's just generated by a computer. Now you can appreciate the artistic uh, creativity of someone who makes something like that, but that's kind of where that ends. Yeah, I kind of agree, most. I I do agree. Right. Well, thank you very much for coming on, Cyrus. It's been awesome having a gab with you. And seeing your opinion on it. Um, and I reckon we just need to... We need to kill it. That's a reference to the video. But you'll see that later. <laughs> All right, man. Yeah, I look forward to uh, watching it. Thank you very much for popping on. And I'll smell you later, mate. All right. Later on, dude. Laters. Well... That's the end of the conversation for now, guys. I'd like to thank UFO Man, Cons, and Cyrus. All the uh, links will be in the description. Unfortunately, there's no links for Cons. He's a talent lost he doesn't post on YouTube. But, come see, come sir. I'd also like to thank everybody who has watched all of this and to Everybody who has modded for me, you guys freaking rock. My mods are awesome. It's time to watch the the first showing of my latest video. It's called Burn It Down. I hope you enjoy it. It's all to do with the whole topic we've been talking about. So, I just hope you enjoy it. It will be going out as a single video, so pop over there, show all the love you guys always do. And if you're not subbed, what the hell are you doing? Anyway, how shall I finish this? I guess I'll smell you later. Laters. Love. Q. We're gonna burn it down. Burn it down. We gon' burn it down. Burn it down. I killed it. It's murder. 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 Go crazy, berserker. I killed it. It's murder. Go crazy, berserker. I killed it. It's murder. Go crazy, berserker. I killed it. It's murder. Go crazy.
crazy berserker Go crazy, berserker. I killed it. It's murder. Go crazy, berserker. I killed it. It's murder. Go crazy, berserker. I killed it. It's murder. Go crazy, berserker. I killed it. Go crazy, berserker. 